People are turning away from PC and finally appreciates laptops as future innovation of technology. Whether it's a low-spec daily use laptop or a high-spec video editing device or maybe a gaming laptop, there's one thing that all laptop users want and that's battery life. Unfortunately, some laptops doesn't offer an incredible amount of battery life and not everyone knows what to do about that. So here are some ways that can significantly increase your laptop's battery life and I'm gonna teach you all of that. Number one, energy recommendation. Go to settings, system, power and battery, energy recommendation, and apply all of them. You can do this to all power plant that you have. Number two, remove peripherals. If you're not using your wireless mouse, wireless keyboards, speakers, and USB ports, remove all of them. They're one of the biggest battery drainer and without them, your battery life should improve. Number three, set power management. Open control panel, system and security, power options, choose your power plan, change power advanced settings, and under PCI Express on link power state management, set it to maximum power savings. This saves more power, but the recovery time is slower. Number four, turn off RGB lighting. Simple as that. On this Asus TUF F15, this can be easily done by pressing function key and arrow keys. This also consumes a lot of battery life, so this must be turned off all the time when not plugged in. Number five, limit processing state. Go to control panel, system and security, power options, choose your power plan, change power advanced settings, and on the processor state management, set the minimum to 5% and maximum to 50%. This will give you more battery life. You can use this to power plants like Silent, Windows, and Recommended that you will be using on battery mode. Number six, eco mode. It's simple. On my Asus Stuff F15, there's a built-in software called Armory Crate. Go to device, system, GPU power saving, and change it to eco mode. But you have to look out for something. Make sure to stop all existing processes first before switching. It also has to say that it's running on eco mode and on the information tab, it should indicate that the GPU is currently on eco mode. Number seven, Google Chrome. Technically, this is not a tip, but a warning that beware of your Chrome tabs. Because believe it or not, it uses your battery a lot. Just like what you see here when I opened around 7 tabs with videos and stopped playing on it. It takes a lot of battery life. Number 8, disable startup apps. Go to settings, apps, and turn off those startup applications. Especially the ones that has a high impact. But personally, I just disable all of them. Sometimes, users mistakenly forgot that some startup applications are still running on their system so it's better to just get rid of them. This gives you a fresh start performance when you open your laptop. Number 9, configure background apps. Open Task Manager, check your existing processes, and configure them. You can disable some of them that you don't need or probably set it to efficiency mode. This might take you some time as you need to carefully check your running background apps. Number 10, turn off HDR. Go to settings, system, display, HDR, and simply turn off this HDR video streaming. This consumes a lot of battery life more than what you think, and it's advised to be turned off all the time on battery mode of any Windows laptop. Number 11, lower refresh rate. Simple thing but still easily forgotten. Go to settings, display, advanced display, and change it to 60 hertz. Number 12, clean your laptop. For God's sake, please open your laptop and clean it. Dust buildup and debris can cause thermal issues which results to larger consumption of battery life. Number 13, airplane mode. This quickly turns off your cellular and near-field communications that might take some of your battery life. Number 14, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. If you're not using it, just turn it off because it still consumes battery life regardless you're not using it or on standby mode. With just one click, you can turn it on again. Number 15, close apps that consumes a lot of power. You might think you already know this, but there's one more thing or way that you haven't done yet. Go to settings, system, power, battery usage, select the application and manage background activity. Under permissions, set it to power optimize. This guarantees improvement on your battery life by optimizing power consumption of your background apps. Number 16, system update. Most of the time, Windows updates are necessary. It always delivers you an enhancement for your system. So check it once per day or turn on your automatic Windows update. Number 17, Content Adaptive Brightness. Your laptop itself adjusts your brightness based on your activity which saves your battery life from unnecessary power usage from your display's brightness. Go to Settings, Display, 
click the arrow down on brightness and under this content adaptive brightness, change the setting to always. Number 18, lower brightness. If content adaptive brightness doesn't work for you, just simply lower your brightness until it suits your vision. This is better option than the other one, but you will have to adjust it every time. Number 19, disable UI animation and shadows. This significantly improves performance and improves battery life, but can you sacrifice this? Is it okay to you that your interface might look bad? If it's fine, go to settings, accessibility, visual effects, and simply turn off animation effects. As for the shadows, open search, type view advanced system settings, and on the performance options, go to visual effects and unshade everything related to shadows. Number 20, 21, and 22, dark mode, dark theme, and dark background. Open settings, personalization, colors, and change it to dark mode. Even for turbo mode, you should do this as it takes less power than default mode, which allocates power efficiently to other system performance. Also, change your theme to any dark related color and background to solid dark color. You can freely choose what you want as long as it falls under the category of darker colors. Number 23, power saving profiles on Armory Creek. As for this setting, it can definitely save your time and additional clicks. Open Armory Create Profile, create new profile, and put both operating modes to silent. After that, set 0% for RGB lighting. Other settings are optional, it's just up to you. Number 24, turn off syncing. You can easily do this by going to settings and accounts if you're logged into your laptop using your Microsoft account. This will stop additional scheduled sync that cause minimal use of your battery. Number 25 and 26, turn on sleep and turn off screen. Go to settings, system, power and battery, screen and sleep, and set your desired setting. I strongly suggest you to go for the lowest, which is one minute. You can also do this on control panel. Number 27, optimizing everything. Make sure you've done every tip and tricks on this list. If you still have other settings to help battery life, include it as well. Yes, you have to do a lot of adjustments and settings for the time being to finally achieve longer battery life for your laptop. But after all of that, you're good to go. So with these 27 tips and tricks, you can say goodbye to your old poor power settings and welcome your newly optimized battery life and use your laptop with ease of mind. So that's it. Hopefully this guide helped you in some way to improve your laptop experience. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for future uploads and contents. I would really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want and if you have any thoughts about this video, suggestions for upcoming videos and guides, or maybe questions, you can freely comment down below and let me know what you think. Again, Hermes here. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one.